Hello, my friends. I am here with you today to read Visiting Feelings by Lauren Rubenstein, illustrated by Shelley Henberger. Visiting Feelings. I just love the illustrations in this book. Do you have a feeling that's visiting today? Can you open your door and invite it to play? Can you ask what it wants and then check it out? Welcome it and listen to what it's about. What if the feeling plays hide and go seek and won't let you see it, not even a peek? Here's an idea, a good one to try. Look at that feeling with wide open eyes. How does it look? Is it short? Is it tall? Is it thick or thin or round like a ball? Is it bright like the sun, dark like the rain, or is it a look you can't even explain? Now, how does it feel? Is it light as a cloud, floating on air, or heavy and huge like a grizzly bear? Is it soft like your mom when she whispers goodnight, or loud like a baby who fusses and fights? Is it sharp like stepping on stones with bare feet, or smooth like ice cream, your favorite treat? Is it warm or cold, sour or sweet? Does it shiver with fear when the two of you meet? How did this feeling enter your house? Did it barge right in? Was it shy like a mouse? Did it rumble and grumble like a thunderstorm blast? Or was it quick as a hummingbird darting round fast? And where has the feeling settled inside? In your stomach down low and your throat up high? If you listen to what your body can say, you'll find that your feelings are really okay. With a bit of attention, a little more care, they might even tell you just why they are there. Some feelings are tough and some are more fun. Now are you ready for the next one? So whenever a feeling comes by to play, welcome it in and let it stay. For as long as it likes or a minute or two, treat your feelings like friends talking to you. The end.